time here in the Summit City means that a lot of folks are spending time in the garden, but you may encounter some pests on your plants. Here to talk about some of those things that could impact roses today, we've got Penny Aulis, a master gardener here at the Purdue Extension Office, and thanks so much for coming out today, Penny. Oh, thanks for having me. I was looking at this rose here, and we've got a little pest on here, so if you encounter some of these holes in the leaves, what is this? Well, when you first look at it, a person would think that that's a caterpillar, but it is not. This is a sawfly, so you can't use your regular caterpillar killer. You would have to use, it will say sawfly on the bottle. Um, but if you miss this guy this week, next week he's going to be twice as big and the holes will be bigger and pretty soon you'll have holes everywhere. We're talking about roses in particular today and as I flip this over you can see some of the black spots here on the leaves. This is a pretty common problem. Yes, black spot is common here and it's a fungus. Well when the rain comes it hits the leaf then the fungus spores bounce off that onto another leaf. So um, what you need to do to, to prevent that is um, you know, first first pull back your mulch and everything, and um, when you're watering, you want to water just down here because if you water up top, you know, a lot of people think, you know, we got to water the flowers because they're thirsty, but they drink down here. So if you just water down here, that's one way you can keep the spores from coming. Otherwise, you make it a whole nother rain day just when you're watering. You come out and you, the first time you see any of these little yellow leaves like you had shown, okay. um, go ahead and just clip that out. Oh, okay. And, and you wanna, uh, here I brought this. Um, it's Serenade, but you can use any brand you want. All you need to put on there is it's a fungicide and see okay. that there's a rose on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you don't want to use, you know, something that's that's not for your particular plant. And you just spray this fungicide directly onto yeah, right the leaf. Yeah, right on the leaf. You want to get under the leaf and on the leaf. If these fall on the ground, you see how there's all these down here? Mm -hmm. You got to clean all of that up and put it in your container. So I would clean all these out so there's no more because these overwinter and next year you'll get it because this is now in the ground. Um, so clean all that up and then you want to take your compost and just kind of go over it a little. I think that it it helps it from bouncing back up like the fungicide oh, okay. being in the dirt. Penny, thanks for joining us today on The Green Thumb. Lots of good tips to keep our roses beautiful all summer long. For many more garden tips, just go to the Green Thumb section on Wayne.com. We'll be right back.